So you read the title. In this video, we're going to be using Python and Pygame to play a video on a screen. By the way, this video was brought to you by not a sponsor, but it was brought to you by this person on GitHub who actually created the PyVid player script, which is a script that we will be using to create a video using Pygame. The GitHub to all the scripts is linked in the description. So you can go ahead and check them out if you want to download this for yourself. Now with that, let's get into the video. All right, so I've started out here with a tic-tac-toe script that I created in a previous video. This is essentially the exact same thing as I created in the video in the top right right now, except I changed the uh, game loop to its own function, which is called main game. And I'm running this function in the bottom. And if we run this again, as you can see, we have our tic-tac-toe game. And essentially the idea of this project is I want to add an intro video to my tic-tac-toe game. So similarly to how AAA games have their intros with like the game studio's name and additional information and maybe even the loading screen, I want to do the same thing for my tic-tac-toe game, but it's basically going to be way simpler. So let me go ahead and show you the video that I'll be playing in my script. So the video I'm going to be using is actually this tic-tac-toe video, as you can see here, which I just created in Premiere Pro. So if you go ahead and open this up to see what it is, by the way, before I actually open this up, headphone users warning, the uh, Hell's Kitchen water phone was obscenely loud for some reason. So take off your headphones right now if you're wearing them, if you want to keep your ears. But with that warning, let's go ahead and watch this horrific intro I created in Premiere Pro. <laughs> oh yeah, and the gunshots. So yeah, this is the monstrosity that we will be using for our Python script. Now let's go back to our code. All right, and now actually the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download the PyVid player script. So let's go ahead and open up the GitHub. This is gonna be, of course, in the link in the description. And if we press this code button, we can go ahead and download the zip of the project. And it's gonna be right here. So it's going to have this folder and inside of this folder, we're going to have the uh, source file for PyVid player. Copy this into your project. I've already done that. So we can go ahead and go back to our code. Now inside of our code at the very top, I'm going to import the video class from PyVid player. So if we go ahead and open up PyVid player right here, as you can see, we have a video class which allows us to create our video and put it on the screen. So let's say from PyVid player import video. And now we have the video class imported and we can go ahead and create an object with it. And we're going to do that above the uh, main game function. So right here, we're going to create vid and it's going to be equal to video. And here we have to pass in the path of our video file. For me, this is going to be tic tac toe video dot mp4. And if I go ahead and open up my project here, as you can see here, I have tic tac toe video dot mp4, which obviously I can't show you in VS code. But it's basically the monstrosity I showed you earlier. Now, if this was in a separate folder, for example, if we made a video folder here and we put a uh, tic-tac-toe video in that folder, then inside of here, we would have to say video slash tic-tac-toe video dot mp4. But since it's in the same folder as my main.py script, I don't have to do that and I can move on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the size of video. So we're going to say vid dot set size. This is pretty self explanatory. We just set how big we want the video to be. And this is going to be a tuple. For me, I want the video to be 900 by 900 pixels big, because that spans the entirety of my screen. So yeah, that's the video initialized. And now we can go ahead and create the intro function, which will just play our video in its own game. loop. So this intro function uses the exact same concept as I used in my last video, where I made a menu screen using Pygame. The concept is that to create multiple screens in Pygame, just create multiple functions with their own game loops and put all of your stuff inside of those game loops. This will allow you to cleanly use multiple screens in Pygame. And we're going to go ahead and create our intro function right here. We'll call it def intro, and we're not going to pass in any parameters. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our game loop. So we're going to say while true to do this. So this is just going to run until we exit the function by calling the main game function. 
And now the first thing we're going to do in our game loop is we're going to say vid dot draw. And we're going to have to pass in a couple of parameters. The first one is going to be the screen we want to draw the video on. So if you had a screen like a background image, and you want to draw the video on top of that, you would reference that right here. But my screen is just going to be the uh, background like the very background of my tic tac toe game, which I just filled with this color. So I'm going to reference that by saying screen. And now let's pass in the position, I want to start it at 0, 0. So essentially, I'm putting this 900 by 900 pixel big square at the top left of the screen. So it's going to take up the entirety of the screen like that. Alright, and now we can go ahead and update the display by saying pygame dot display dot update. And now we can check for mouse input. So what I want to accomplish here is I want to check if we've clicked a mouse button, then we should just skip the video because if we click the mouse button, that means we don't have enough time to watch the entire video, even though it's only five seconds long. So we're going to do this by cycling through every event that Pygame has. And we can do that by saying for every event in pygame.event.get. We're going to check if the event is equal to pygame.mouse button down. And if it is, what that means is that we've clicked a mouse button. So if event.type and type is equal to pygame.mouse button down. If that's true, then we should do two things. The first thing we should do is we should close the video by saying vid.close. And then we should go to our main game function because we're done with the intro function. So we're just going to go ahead and call it by saying main game. And believe it or not, that's the end of the intro function. That's all we have to do. Now we can go ahead and change the main game function here, which I called to intro. And this is going to go directly to the uh, intro function right here, which again is going to go to the main game function when we press a mouse button. Once again, headphone users, this is your warning, take off your headphones, switch to your speakers. If you have them, I'm going to be completely destroying your ears in like three seconds. And now if we click on the screen, we get to our tic tac toe game and we can play it normally. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And now you can use videos for your Pi game projects and you can add insane intros like mine into your projects. If you liked the video, consider liking if you didn't dislike it. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. If you scroll down, you'll realize I only have 200 subscribers. So if you want to change that, consider subscribing to see more of this. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, have a good day.